Uh, is there a chance here? I don't know that there is or not. He's got an archer and a couple of balloons. If you get the air defense down, then he can get the balloons to go with the top of the base here and help assist with a couple of these defenses and speed it up a little bit. Maybe there is a chance here. Maybe I'm trying to call it too soon. We've had some crazy matches throughout the Town Hall Cup throughout the last few weeks here, but with $25,000 of prize money on the line here, all the big name teams are coming out to play today. Team Liquid stacked with pro players will start us off here in this Town Hall 11 Cup here where you're not allowed to use Siege Machines, so it does change up the meta a bit here. He's going to be charging in with a Queen Charge to open up, and we got New Days on the other side. New Days has historically been at the top of almost every Town Hall 11 tournament that we have playing throughout the community all year round so is it going to be the pro players who win out of team liquid or is it going to be the town hall 11 experts over here in new days let's see how it all plays out here but we got super barbarians charging into the defensive queen super wall break gets some access to the middle base there the queen getting hammered by these super barbarians but he does pop the queen ability able to power through that getting this heal is targeted by the archer is a little bit of a problem right now I think they're going to end up pulling away. He starts in the Lalo through that Archer Tower. And where's this Hound going? He needs... Okay, he gets down there. Air defense then, though. The Hound crosses through. Get the haste. Get him into the multi-inferno. Big Tessa Farm pop in the area. Does get the Hound to cross where the Tornado Trap and a whole bunch of red air bombs were. So the pathing that he ended up getting through there with the Hound pacing worked out perfect. He just got to move forward and then come back directly across the multi-inferno, which honestly is a really smart way to get all the traps cleared right there. He's got the freeze for the back of the base here. His queen is hanging on by a thread. She's going to grab that sweeper out or get some air skillies down, but she's Hanging in there. He's got a ward ability still. Pop the ward now. Pop it. Okay, there we go. Needs to get back over to the multi, though. Does he get the pathing into it? I think he does. It's going to be a slow approach here. And he's got Wizard Towers in the backside. But his queen is getting topped back off here. Red air bombs going off. Lots of blues are dropping here. Oh, no, no, no. Get it, get it, get it. Get the multi, get the multi. Got it! The crash damage! Jonas pulling through on this one. Now, the team names, or the, the player names, I don't know exactly who is which player on this team liquid but just to go over their roster here so you know everybody who's playing on this team who are playing in accounts that are kind of undisguised here you have players like halo blade react riticus fluxy who played for tribe gaming play second place in the world championship you got chiku agent 33 and lixie so lots of pro players multiple players with world championship appearances and they are opening up with the triple a close one here but a triple nonetheless drops in the minions down south here we'll pick off the last collector and a town hall 11 without siege machines it is not easy to pick up the triple so i think a 12 or 13 star Performance is probably enough to win most of these wars here, but a nice start. Chan will strike next here for New Days for their opening attack. We've got ourselves a Queen Charge into Lala one more time. Going in, find the Tesla farm right out of the gate here, and we'll charge the Eagle Artillery, the Defensive Queen, and the CC up ahead. Then those are your primary targets. If you can get the Infernos down in the process, then that says Icy on the cake there. But the Eagle Artillery is honestly going to take out a lot more blues than Multi-Inferno will. So you can charge a Multi-Inferno with a Freeze and a Haste. And you can get through those. But the Eagle Artillery will beat on you the entire way through the tactic if you don't deal with it nice and early. So we'll see how he handles it. He wall breaks over at the air defense there. So we can walk along that edge of the base there. Keep it on this expo here if it decides to target onto the Queen's Healers. But she's keeping her distance there. So she should be okay. Rage up and wall break again. Going to get access as he rounds through there. So far, so good. Engage the defensive queen. King comes in down the line. I'd like to see that king with the wall break as well, so it doesn't just waste his value out there. If he could reach in there and get the wizard tower down, that would be very, very effective to get some good value out of him. But he's not using that right now. He does get the clean access for the queen to step in, but it's going to take a moment to get to the Zeke Artillery. But if you don't know, the Eagle Artillery doesn't activate until you drop at least, what is it, 200 troop space worth of troops. Heroes count as 25, and then spells are 5 per spell slot, and then you have the army camp space there of the troops to account to that Eagle activation. So if he can stay under that, then he can prevent the Eagle Artillery from activating and targeting him here. So he's off to a good start here. Queen Charge moving strong, and here we go with the long. Queen Charge will not get the Eagle Artillery down for a bit, so that's a bit of a problem. But he'll freeze up the multi-inferno. The Queen's coming back, though, and she's still inside of the rage. 
As she circles back, the expo does lock onto her healers, but she does end up popping her building. She's trying to push to the sweeper quickly before he has too much knockback, and he needs to hold on to the ward ability a little bit longer. There we go, pops it, and he does hit every single bloom with that ward ability that was taking damage. So that works out quite nicely. Frees up the multi inferno, stops the expo damage as well. Queen does go down. But he can honestly pull the healers into a tanking position in the backside of the base there if he needs to. But it doesn't look like that is going to be necessary. He's got enough to pick up this air defense. And he's got enough to wrap into this archer tower down at the bottom of the base there as well. A couple balloons come down to reinforce there. Red air bombs going off. But two balloons will handle that. And he will get turned immediately into cleanup here. And those air skillies on the right side will be picked up by the minions over there. So not going to be a problem. He's got enough time it looks like. I think, yeah, he's got the balloons that did end up dying at the cannon there to the air skillies and those air skillies are causing some problems for him here what doesn't cause this to time fail i think he's still okay oh it's close it's really close here come on there we go okay balloon picks up the storage a triple for both teams to open up very strong starts Looks like we got attacks on both sides here. Paradox on one side and Rory on the other. Let's dive into Paradox and then we'll bounce over and see what happens to the other one. This is going to be a super archer attack here. The super archer attack is typically done when you can zap out the eagle artillery and an expo together. It doesn't look like he got any expos or maybe he got one. I think he got one expo. But most importantly, he gets the queen to go one direction. Get some separation from a big group of super archers and the super archers head the other direction and go after targets that they can reach with their long range. They can reach four tiles over the wall, one tile further than the queen can get. The queen gets funneled by the king to the outside of the base and she'll try to take the turn in to go get this multi. He might need to pop his king ability to get there to take the turn, get the arch tower down. And that is going to work out perfectly. Get the arch tower down right at the perfect time here. And the queen takes the turn to the middle of the base here. So we're going to come back and visit this again in a minute. But you notice how he pops the warden and rages while he fights the CC and takes the expo fire. And he's moving very smoothly through the base there. That's looking really solid. But Rory on the other side is doing a queen charge into miners. A couple of hog riders in the mix here. Now he did have some healers inside of a CC. At Town Hall 11, since they're not allowed to use siege machines, taking in a minion, two healers, and a balloon, make so that you bring three healers in your cans, and that way you can put the miners down all together without having to change troops in the bar and you get them rapidly deployed. Notice how they all came down. Multiple stacks of miners at the same time. You need to have a rapid deployment of the miners to get them down. So if you're just pressing one finger and holding it, the miners are going to come in way too slow. You have to do a multi-finger drop and get the three, two or three stacks of miners coming down simultaneously to get them down at the speed that you need to get them moving into the base there so they don't end up in a line and you got to make sure that they have the force in numbers there very rapidly the queen still doing good work on the top of the base there with the queen ability attack she's under very minimal damage right now the miners with the heal spell and the warden giving them the protection inside of the middle of the base there. but the warden does get targeted for a bit when the miners all go underground at the same time he's hanging in though he's got the heal spell active as the miners punch through the toughest area of the base there hitting some giant bombs but he heals right through it rory ripping this base up this is a triple through and through that's not gonna be a problem to clean up let's bounce back over the super archer attack and let's see how paradox is doing over here as he wraps up here the super archers were able to continue to coast through so another two triples on the board this is two of the top teams what i think would be in the league here and they are performing phenomenally here as we start off six to six nice job from both teams striking next here four new days will be vectron we get to see the super archers coming in for this one here going in with the bulk of his healers on this queen Typically, we... Oh, you know what? He's probably got the additional healers inside of his CC like we talked about a minute ago. There, he gets a Coca Loon down as he makes his way into the artillery. Another wall break to go into the town hall compartment with an archer already thin out that side of the base there. And they'll make their way in with a dual entry here with the archers and the queen going to separate compartments and the warden always goes to the archers heavy damage right in the opening so he uses this rage he did not use the lightning on this attack here to take out the eagle artillery like we saw on the other attack and like we typically see we either see lightning or a skilly donut to handle the eagle artillery but if the queen is able to get it very very early in the attack here and you have a position to put the super archers in it then he can go ahead and use different spell lineups here he's gonna rage up the super archers again as those healers are... They're, the healers are finally hitting the right there, so we he can heal everybody up there and get the healing, healing spread around and up there. But Super Archers 
work very, very well with uh, about two to three healers. They do great. Three healers is a little bit safe there, so you can have one die out, and you can have the other ones continue on, but the super archers get a lot of healing. Regular troops get way more healing than heroes do, so you need significantly less healers to keep the pack alive. And it does look like he's got three healers there, but he does have the super archers splitting into two separate packs. There. The warden is taking most of the damage there, but the group on the right is struggling a bit. He did use the jump spell to connect the queen and the super archers to the back side of the base, so... The super archer group that went to the outside is going to give him a little bit of trouble there as he does have to start to burn his freeze. His queen leaves the base as well or tries to. I don't know where she's going to end up going, but I'd like to see her take the jump and move to this other side here. Okay, she does finally take the jump here, but the warden is going to die. The super archers still have a chance to pull through. He'll freeze up the expo, but they have to take this expo down. Otherwise, he's going to be in a lot of trouble here. And that is one of the only defenses other than the eagle artillery that can overwhelm the healers. And it looks like he's able to power through that, but it hits the tornado trap. The tornado trap pulls the healers into danger queen picking out the defense on the right side get the multi down get the multi down losing archers he's got one more left here does not get it victron is gonna have the first miss of the war and what the hell is the queen doing queen go attack the inferno the jump phase she's trapped it's a defense we'll pass it back over to team liquid and we'll see what they have in response team liquid will strike with sanab next here and like i said these are pro players they I don't know which account belongs to which player here, but there are a ton of world championship caliber players that are on these this team liquid here. So they're doing well right now. Two triples on the board. And he'll now make his way in with a queen charge into Lalo. King trying to go in after this inferno, but a bit of a bit of extra Tesla damage there popping up on him. He has the tornado trap on top of that. So they did judge that entry correctly and were able to counter the king with the Tesla farm there and stop him from being able to take that compartment. That's gonna potentially affect this queen later on. At least he got one of the Teslas down as he made it. No, two Teslas down as he made his way in. I'll keep an eye on the multi-inferno if it ends up targeting the healers at any point during the attack here as the queen makes her way towards the middle here towards the eagle artillery she is going to swing to the left side of that compartment and so he has a chance to stay away from that multi it's going to be a close pass here but i think he's going to be okay rage up the queen again here as she gets low oh there we go pulled her in that's not good i thought she would avoid it but she does not multi inferno already causing problems and he needs to get out of there quickly he needs to stay raged here to get out of there as quick as possible and get these healers back away to safety and okay they're good they're good they're good gets a jump down jump will carry him to the artillery he'll pick up that arch tower on his way through put in a couple hogs in the left side and just pick up these arch towers as the queen picks up the tanking onto them he does have the popper ability and this is not good eagle artillery is going after his healers right now quickly step in queen get inside the minimum range get inside the minimum range healers go down sinab in a lot of trouble now he can still get the defensive queen down potentially he uses the freeze to get her down and he has to go to a backup method and charge the town hall first that multi inferno and then the eagle artillery wreaking havoc on this attack here at least the town hall is in an accessible area and he'll get the two star at a minimum but he needs what a 93 percent here to be able to take the lead here otherwise new days will hold the lead at the midpoint of this war ward ability will get him through the multi inferno he's got a rage here honestly he should just pop that rage and he should probably pop it on the inside group there to get them moving through faster because if he waits till they all die then he loses all the value of the range here i don't know what he's waiting for there it is finally finally i feel like that is way 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 later than it should have been and now he's gonna get very little value out of it and he's gonna leave a lot of percentage on the board here so it is gonna be a lead here for new days as the team stacked with pro players it's gonna fall behind Lixie will strike for Team Liquid. Coming in with a Warden Walk in the bottom base here. Pekka Smash on this one. Typically when we do a Pekka Smash, we started with a Queen Walk and Lightning. So this is being performed like you would typically do a Warden Walk and a Pekka Smash at Town Hall 12. No, even not even 12. Really Town Hall 13 or higher where the warden actually has some significant damage output but the warden his damage doesn't really pick up i guess tunnel 12 can do it fine the damage picks up at the warden at the range between 30 and 40 at town hall 
11 when he's only level 20. It takes a lot of time, a lot of time invested into a Warden Walk, and it really can cause his attack to time fill. So we typically don't see that. But he does have a wall break, so he's going to go into the Molten Inferno. He gets the funnel formed, and here we go. Golem starts to make his way in. Pekka Surge in, and the Bullers come out of a CC, and he'll need a healer transfer, so he needs to get the damage off of his Warden early and get these healers to hit the raid. That is very, very important here. The Warden does transfer the healers forward here onto the Pekkas and did they get in the rage there? Not yet, not yet. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. He's, he's still in a good spot. Pekkas are not taking too much damage. They're able to heal through. Boy's getting some good bounces and end up getting some uh, damage onto the Eagle Artillery as the King makes his approach into there with the Witches and the Wizards up there. King has his ability. He can pop it and survive that top area there. But that expo up in the top compartment is going to be a little bit of a problem here. Queen's working on the Town Hall takedown. Pekka's are going to the Town Hall as well. They leave the base there. There's uh, a wall that got broken right at the intersection by the Town Hall. It's going to leave the Queen and the... Warden and those P.E.K.K.A.s out of the base there. So we'll see if they have enough punch to wrap back around. But the King continues to take up the top of the base there. And the Wizards and Witches are going to be left vulnerable as he drops. And they're going to get started to pick off there by that Expo. And it's going to be a big problem for him. So I don't know if he has a chance to pull through or not. A bit of a messy attack here. He's got a minute to pull through. And he's not going to have enough time. Even if he can get all the defenses down. That expo at the top of the base there is going to require more than a minute to take down, I think. He rages up the queen, will charge in the multi-inferno, gets the air defense down, and keeps the healers alive. Uh, is there a chance here? I don't know that there is or not. He's got an archer and a couple of balloons. If he can get the air defense down, then he can get the balloons to go with the top of the base there and help assist with a couple of these defenses and speed it up a little bit. Maybe there is a chance here. Maybe I'm trying to call it too soon. The ward and the queen working together strong. Those Pekkas have good HP. Step into the air defense. Now drop the balloons. Go now. Perfect. Perfect timing on that. Locks onto the expo. Pekkas are trying to break the wall to get to the outside. Wizards are live on the outside. Archer, where did Archer drop? The Archer dropped in with the wizard on the outside. And he's got the queen breaking the wall there. Warden supporting. Warden Ben is that target. Goes north. He's got it. It's a triple. The Pekkas pull through. And Team Liquid with a percentage disadvantage. Put the triple on the board and put some heavy pressure onto New Days. Shreyan will strike for New Days and try to keep them in contention in this war. We got ourselves a Queen Charge into Lalo. Baby Dragon comes in at the top of the base there. We'll go pick up this cannon and the Queen will make her way in towards the Expo by the looks of it. She will not go to the Multi-Inferno and he's going to have to handle the Multi-Inferno. I'd like to see like uh, if the King could go into the multi and use a wall break to go in and grab them. Does he even need a wall break? Is the wall open? The wall's up. Yeah, there's no... Oh, there is a wall there. Okay, the, there's a wall. The king will go in there with a wall break and get the multi down. That was, that was the smartest thing to do right there. If the king could ever reach a multi-inferno or the eagle artillery, you 100% dump him in. If he gets nothing else, that's perfectly okay. But he also forms the funnel for the queen. And so now the queen will circle to the outside of the base. There he secures the town hall takedown. So he gets to save two star out of it as well. He gets the wall break down for the queen. Sends in a balloon to go search for black mines ahead of the queen as she charges the defensive queen. He needs to get the CC down as well. The CC is at the very bottom of the base here. And with the CC being so far from the queen... I would not expect a Lava Hound to be in it. Typically, if you have the Queen right next to the CC, then a Lava Hound would come out to try to delay and protect the Queen. But if it's so far like this, where they charge in anything to go after the Queen, then they want to have a damage CC in there with dragons, witches, E-Drag. No, no, don't, don't do an E-Drag. <laughs> Never use an E-Drag on defense. I think uh, it's the laziest CC and the uh, one of the worst that you can have on defense. Maybe it'll stop a Town Hall 9 from getting through a Town Hall 9 base sometimes, but... I think it's useless, and I see a lot of people doing it. Don't do that. All right, we got the dragon and witch coming out as expected. Queen is getting it to go over to her, which is good. You'll get the poison down, and the Lala will surge in across the right side of the base. But he needs to get that eagle artillery down. He needs to get his queen to take the turn in and get this eagle handled. And right now, it's struggling. Doesn't have a war ability. He does end up having the Lava Hounds take the Eagle Artillery Strikes there. So that's a lucky break there. He does not want the Lava Hounds... Or doesn't want the Blues to take the Eagle Artillery Strikes there. Otherwise, he's going to lose the entire pack in one swoop. But he does have a big Tesla farm around this multi, which is causing some problems. Red Air Bombs, Tornado Trap. Lots of problems in this bottom corner. And that bottom corner defends. And that means the attack is going to defend. That means New Days is in a bit of trouble here. We got the last attack about to come in from... Team Liquid, but let's dive over to Uni for just a moment and see how he's doing with a Queen Charge Lalo as well. 
Got the CC pull up the top of the base there. This one had a Lava Hound on defense, and it does have a Lava Hound on defense with the Queen on the opposite side of the base there. Kind of interesting. I wouldn't. I definitely would not expect that. But he did ultimately pull it, and he will fight it with the Queen, and he'll need to Lalo through the top of the base here. So this one not looking too bad. It's off to a really good start, but let's go see an attack from the start here. We'll come back to this one in a minute. Let's go see the final attack here out of Team Liquid. Felix is going to make his way in also with the Queen Charge Lalo. That's everybody is using this attack here. Now, this is what I'm talking about. When you see the CC right next to the defensive Queen, you can definitely expect a Lava Hound on defense here. Otherwise, a Kill Squad would just get an insane amount of value. The Queen Charge can handle it, but it's going to cost them some time to get in there. The King will form one half of the funnel and actually go in there and take the defensive queen out and the queen will try to make a different entry and go in through the expo oh wait it's all right that's not the cc i was expecting super barbarians and a baby dragon pop out of there and the queen is kind of missing her entry right here the king got wrecked the queen got wrecked as well felix oh no queen ability right away Oh, this is a problem. This is a problem. Let's go back and check the other one while he coasts his queen forward. He's got a bunch of damage there, but he has plenty of rages. He'll stay raged up for just a minute. I want to see how this one is going for Uni because this one might determine the war. If that other one ultimately goes through for a miss, this one honestly looking pretty solid here. He had to end the attack into the queen, but his queen was able to reach over there and pick her off. Gets the eagle artillery down late. The blues are moving through. The queen can... Can she reach that warden? I think she can. 20 seconds. Oh, this is close on time. Hold on, let's see how the time plays out here, and then we'll go over to the other one here. But if this triples, then I think Team Liquid has to triple on their attack, or at least get a really high percentage. This one is not going to have enough time, though. So I think that secures the win there for Team Liquid, as long as they get a two-star. So Felix still does not have the two-stars. The Queen continues to make a way forward. He did end up getting to go back through that jump spell he had to use a jump spell as she was on the wrong side of the wall there but she does step into the multi inferno he would have liked the jump to carry him to the other multi inferno but maybe she'll attack a wall here maybe we'll have a smart queen and she can go to the multi inferno she's hugging that wall pretty tight there so she very well might but i think she's gonna end up turning north and she does okay that's a bit of a problem but he's got enough for the two star here and i think that's enough for the win yeah the balloons are taking a lot of damage Oop. yeah he's getting wrecked he's getting wrecked all right, this is not going to go through, but luckily they got that time fail defense. So Team Liquid is going to be advancing in the Town Hall 11 Cup on this first open qualifier. And remember, guys, if you want to sign up for the Town Hall Cup, there are plenty of qualifiers left for Town Hall 11 and even more coming in later at Town Hall 12 and higher. So sign up a team, go over to the website rush.gg and get involved here. But our next matchup is a really really big one here for both of these teams we have the roster from vn Tompani's prior team playing out of los piltrafa who is waiting for the winner of this one in the next match and we'll see what happens with them but that is a huge amount of pro players on both sides of this war going to the next match here so you can see uh amwallen michael dp eltano machuo Every single one of those players have been to at least one world championship. A lot of them, multiple world championships. It's a powerhouse roster.